Today, I want to go over what I think will be one of the easiest ways to complete the new Extreme program, and really, no matter your skill level in MLB The Show, I think all of you will be just fine completing the Extreme program this way. And there's a ton of different ways to complete the program, but what I'll be going over I think is a good alternative to sitting down and just raging like crazy while trying to grind out all of the moments. To me, that's just kind of miserable. I've done that a few times in past extreme programs. I know other people like doing the moments, but that's just not the way I usually like to approach the extreme programs. So instead, I will be completing this program in mini seasons. Now, some things to know about mini seasons. One voucher that you get from mini seasons is seven points in the program. And then some other things to know here, we'll head on over to the extreme mini seasons here, is there is a repeatable goal for winning the championship here that we'll show you. And you get three vouchers, in other words, 21 points for each championship that you win. And then there also are repeatable goals for basically winning games on different difficulty so as you see here 10 uh, games on all-star will get you a voucher and then uh, eight on hall of fame will get you two vouchers and then uh, finally on legend difficulty um, five wins you will get three vouchers so if you complete the three goals of the all-star wins the legend wins and the hall of fame wins you do get six vouchers or 42 program points but in my method, I'm only going to be playing the Hall, probably going to be skipping the Legend and probably just doing the Hall of Fame and then also the All Star wins. So that'll get me 21 um, points in the program just from those vouchers, plus another 21 from winning the championship. So, in other words, I'm going to be getting 42 points in total each season if I do the Hall of Fame, the All-Star, and winning of the championship. And assuming I win those 18 games and complete the two goals for winning on the different difficulties, 18 games should be enough for me to make the playoffs since there are, you know, as we know, a 28-game schedule uh, for each season. So then I can basically start simming the regular season games until I get to the playoffs. And then in the playoffs, the difficulty won't matter. So I can play on rookie difficulty and I can cruise to the championship and get those extra vouchers. And my plan will be to play two mini seasons, basically getting 84 total program points from all of that uh, that I just talked about. Um, and then, so basically we need 16 more points to finish off the program. And by the way, if you guys don't choose to do the Hall of Fame uh, wins goal in mini seasons, I guess just do one more mini season uh, to get um, more uh, program points or just wherever else you guys want to do that from. Uh, but you need, we need, you know, assuming you do the Hall of Fame and the All-Star wins goals and you need you know, 16 points remaining after too many seasons. I would focus on the 50 innings pitched with relief or closing pitchers mission while you're grinding many seasons. So make sure just most of your innings are being pitched with relievers. Um, and then, you know, that's four more points. So basically then you would need 12 more points to finish off the program. You can get that from all of, you know, any of these other missions like the hits one, you might be able to get just from grinding out the mini seasons as you go along. Um, you know, the strikeouts, 100 strikeouts you might get, um, or even, you know, some of these others you might get as well. Uh, you also could probably get one from the tallying of the 25,000 uh, PXP here with any players. That's a possibility. So you might be able to just finish you know, two seasons might be enough and you might have the program done. But, um, you know, if you're sick of the missions, you know, maybe you still need a little bit more points and you're sick of the missions, you don't want to do them. You could come on over to moments to finish off the program and do one or two moments, one or two of the easiest moments, right, uh, that, um, you know, you can just do in, you know, 15 uh, 20 minutes, whatever it might take, and complete the program that way. So I know this first one I've seen people say isn't too bad. Um, it is on Hall of Fame, so that does make it tough, but uh, that is an option, or you could do, I don't know, I thought the Adovino, um five innings pitched without allowing a run uh, moment coming up here is uh wasn't awful, I guess, compared to a lot of these. And then also the DeGrom pitching one might be an option as well or whatever other, you know, moments you guys think are easiest work as well. But, you know, this is really only if you need a few extra points to finish off the program after the couple mini seasons and after some missions that you complete. Another option to get a few extra points instead of moments would be from something like the event missions. These last two event missions don't look too bad, uh, which gets you either, you know, four or eight points from those. Even though the extreme program seems like such a huge grind, if you follow what we went over in this video, there's a chance you can complete this program after just two mini seasons. And I think it's gonna be worth it because look at all of the rewards 
in the path. Like all of these cards are amazing. Some of these cards are the best cards in the entire game. Plus you get all of these packs like the extreme pack, which you get 299s from. You have all the chase packs, other special packs, you know, all of the stubs, all of the XP. Really, really good stuff in here and absolutely worth completing in my opinion. But I hope this video was helpful, and if you guys have any other tips, go ahead and drop those down in the comments to help out everyone else. But that'll be it for this one. I appreciate you guys for sticking around to the end and watching. See you guys next time. Peace.